the darkness of the world could be shattered by the light in just one pure heart. Imagine then the hope that would spread if 99 of the pure hearted came together as one. The world needs role models, whether they're fictional, like superheroes, or real. The problem with real people is they ultimately disappoint. These stones, they chose us to do something big. It was thinking like that which led Dr. Naif al Mutawa to create role models to inspire his children at a time when Islamic religion and culture had become a global talking point in the wake of 9 11. Instead of being one of the people that complained about how my culture was being represented to the outside world, that I'd be part of being proactive and trying to redefine it. Who are you people? The 99's powers were based on the Quran's 99 virtues of Allah, such as wisdom, strength, and generosity. But al Mutawa wanted them to be seen as universal powers, rather than religious ideals. It's pretty clear. I'm part of something bigger. A new family, maybe. The 99. What the 99 offered to fans that's different than DC and Marvel is that it's a different universe. It's based on a different cultural archetype and blueprint. The Bible or biblical archetype has been used for hundreds of years in fiction in the West and very, very brilliantly so because it uses values that the West shares with the rest of humanity. So it doesn't matter what culture you're from, you can still, it can still resonate. And so what the 99 does, it says, guess what? Our values, they're the same as yours. The 99 was launched as a comic book in the Middle East in 2006. His big breakthrough came when DC Comics agreed to a crossover miniseries in which the famous crime-fighting characters of the Justice League, Batman, Superman, and a more modestly dressed Wonder Woman, joined forces with the heroes of the 99. Those storylines start off with distrust between the two groups of superheroes, and they find out that actually it's the bad guys from both universes causing the distrust. And then they fight together cape to shoulder and move it over to trust. So it's very much about the extremists on both sides of the divide who are causing the distrust between the heroes of these two worlds. Little did Dr. al know it, but he was beginning to attract fans in high places. His comic books have captured the imagination of so many young people with super superheroes who embody the teachings and tolerance of Islam. After my speech in Cairo, he had a similar idea. So in his comic books, Superman and Batman reached out to their Muslim counterparts. <laughs> and I hear they're making progress, too. <laughs> Absolutely. But along with the plaudits came suspicion, both from the Islamic world and the West. The animated version is now shown on TV in 70 countries, but was originally banned in Saudi Arabia, while Europe and the US have been slow to embrace the Islamic superheroes. Today, Dr. Al Mutawa has invited a group of American students from Boston to his office in Kuwait to gauge their opinions. So you guys grew up with Marvel and DC Comics, I'm going to take it, right? Yeah. What, what, do, what do you think are similarities and what are differences between the two universes? The character who's from the United States, he's in a car crash, he's dealing with revenge and um, trying to figure out how his life is going to change. He's like all powerful. He can inflict pain on others. And it's similar to Batman who's angry about his parents dying. Um, and they all kind of start with a conflict and figure out how they can help the world with their power or their strength as opposed to revenge or inflicting pain on others that is negative. One of the differences I noticed was I guess there was an issue uh, in the Islamic world that all the women were not wearing burqas, but in the United States people were upset that one of the women was wearing burqas. For me to be, have been able to kind of make a dent, even if it's a small dent, on how Islam is perceived to my children, I believe, which was my intent to begin with, uh, I've achieved that and hopefully I've been able to have that influence on other children as well. The 99 now has a website created by Wallace and Gromit's Ardman Productions. It's been translated into Mandarin and several other languages. It spawned a theme park in Kuwait, and there's even talk of a movie. All of us who have newer stones need to work together to help everyone else. All of which has propelled Dr. Al Mutawa himself to superhero status among many in the business world. Neil Curry, CNN.